In this video, we're going to learn how to check if two strings are anagrams using C++. So two strings are considered anagrams if they have the same characters, but the characters don't have to be in the same order. So for example, the strings silent and listen are anagrams because both strings have one N, one E, one T, one S, one I, and one L. So the strings have the same characters. Now one easy way to check if two strings are anagrams is to sort the strings and compare them for equality. So if we sort the string listen, we'll get the string E I L N S T. If we do the same thing with silent, we'll also get E I L N S T. And we can see the two strings are equal. So to check if two strings are anagrams, we can sort them both alphabetically and then compare them for equality. There's a sort function in the C++ algorithm library, which allows us to easily sort a string alphabetically. We'll include the algorithm library. And if down here we create a test string, we'll call it test one and we'll assign it listen then we could sort this string using the sort function. So here we could have sort, and then we'll have test1.begin and test1.end. So the way the sort function works is we pass an iterator that points to the first character in this string, and we also pass in as a second argument an iterator that points to the character one past the last character in the string. These two iterators define a range and the characters in the string within that range, which in this case is all the characters in the string are going to be sorted alphabetically. So if we output the string after calling sort, we'll get the string E I L N S T. So here we'll output test one followed by an end line. And if we save compile and run the program, we do get the string E I L N S T. NST. So let's make a function to check if two strings are anagrams. Up here, we'll have bool is anagram, and the function is going to be called is anagram. The function is going to return true if the two strings are anagrams and false otherwise. The function will accept two strings as arguments, so we'll have the parameters string, string one, and string string two. We'll copy this and then supply a definition of the function down here. Now compared to sorting strings, it's very quick and efficient to check if two strings have the same length. Now if the strings don't even have the same length, they can't possibly be anagrams because they can't contain the same characters if they don't even contain the same number of characters. We can check the length of the strings with if string one dot length doesn't equal string two dot length, where the length method is going to return the length of both strings. And if the lengths are not equal, we know the strings are not anagrams and we'll return here false. And so this is a quick and efficient check. Next. We'll sort the strings and compare them for equality. So we'll have here sort with string one dot begin and string one dot end to sort string one. And we'll have sort with string two dot begin and string two dot end. So now that string one and string two are sorted, we'll compare them for equality. So string one equals equals string two is going to compare these strings for equality. And if the strings are equal, we want to return true. Otherwise, if the strings are not equal, we want to return false. So we can actually just return the result of this equality check and that's it. So up here, we'll test out the function. We'll declare a second string. We'll have string test two and we'll assign to it, let's say silent. And then here we'll call is anagram. So we'll have if 
is anagram returns true when passed test one and test two, we'll output here strings are anagrams followed by an inline. Otherwise, we'll output here strings are not anagrams followed by an inline. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get here strings are anagrams. If we change the string test2 to single, these strings are no longer anagrams because the string test1 does not have the character g. If we save, compile, and run the program, we'll now get strings are not anagrams, which is correct. So this is how we can check if two strings are anagrams using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.